Hey guys, it's Tammy, so I'm back at you with another video today, and today is actually a brush comparison video. I don't think I've ever done anything like this, but today is the battle of the handheld kabuki brushes. So here we have the Makeup Revolution Oval Precision Kabuki Brush, which released this week, so it is brand, brand new. It retails for £9.99, and I will be comparing it to the Iconic London Pro Evo buffing brush I believe it's called and this retails for £32.99 from Iconic London. So one side of my face is done with the Iconic Pro brush and then one side is done with the Makeup Revolution brush. So if you would like to see my thoughts on both then definitely keep on watching. Okay guys, so we're going to jump straight in and test out these brushes. I'm going to do the Makeup Revolution brush on this side and then the Iconic Pro London brush on this side. So let me just read you a couple things about the brushes, what it says on the website. So the Iconic London brush is called the Pro Evo Buffer Brush. It retails for £32.99, which is actually really, really a lot for a brush. If they didn't send it to me, I wouldn't spend £32.99 on a brush like this. I don't think I'd spend £32.99 on any brush actually now that I think about it that's a lot of money but it says get ready for the brush revolution meet our pro evo the innovative I can never say that word the innovative the innovative style of this range is the first of its kind and fits perfectly into the palm of your hand for a truly precise application. With 400,000 velvet-like synthetic fibers in each vegan-friendly and cruelty-free brush, you're guaranteed a flawless finish every time. Our Pro Evo Buffer Brush is perfect for applying foundation, primer, and moisturizer. So the Makeup Revolution brush is called Oval Kabuki Brush. They say it's shaped to fit your hand perfectly. The versatile brush is ideal to apply loose powder um, blush as well as bronzing as well as cream products so I suppose this brush says you can use it for everything like foundation uh, powder blush bronzing whereas the iconic London brush says you can only use it for foundation so I have color corrected already but today I'm gonna go in with the NYX stay matte not flat and this is the shade nutmeg I absolutely love this foundation I mentioned it on my Instagram story the other day it's almost finished but I love this foundation so I'm just gonna apply a couple dots on this side then with the Makeup Revolution brush, this is what it looks like. It's like an oval shape, but you do get a finger indentation to slide your finger in right there and you buff it in like that. Now this, because of the indentation, you can use it on your left hand and your right hand. So this is my right hand and then this is my left. So it works for both handed people. So yeah, I'm just gonna begin by swiping this in. I used this yesterday and I really, really like it. It just gives such a flawless finish and it covers such a huge area in such a short amount of time. I've practically done my whole cheek already and it does fit around the side of the nose. I find that small kind of buffing motions work like what I'm doing now. Um, I haven't tried like swipe it across the skin just because I feel like it will move the product. So I'm just going to keep doing my little buffing motions. It seems to work for me. And because of the shape of the brush, it's actually really good at getting around the brows without wiping out your brows. So yeah, I really, really like this brush. So easy to use. I really, really will be using this for my everyday makeup now. It's just so good. Okay, so that is the Makeup Revolution side applied, super flawless, really nice coverage. It hasn't wiped away any of my color correction, so you can't see my scars underneath the foundation. Really like this brush, really easy to use. Um, I like how it just fits into that section of your hand and you get a nice indentation, so you get a good grip of the um, brush. Yeah, I really like this, so now let's try the Iconic brush. So I'm gonna do the same thing, squeeze some of the foundation I need to buy a new one. Squeeze some of the foundation onto this side. Probably too much, but it's done now. <laughs> and I've actually never used this iconic brush, so let's give this a go. So with this one, you have a metallic back and it is rather weighty compared to the Makeup Revolution one. This feels very, very heavy. Um, I suppose it makes it sit in your hand nicely. Um, so I'm guessing this is how you hold it it does have two flaps on the side there. I'm guessing that's where your fingers should rest. So I'm just gonna hold it like this. Um, I'm not quite sure what, yeah, I think that's, that's, that's gonna have to do. So let's try this. Okay, it feels just as smooth as the Makeup Revolution one. 
it feels a bit heavier pressing on my face because of the weight of the brush but it is giving me a flawless finish feels really soft fits around my nose area as well I'm doing the same kind of small swipes buffing motion this also fits nicely around the brow without wiping it out yeah okay so that is the iconic London side blended out I mean they give the exact same finish it looks really really flawless they both were really really quick in my opinion and the only thing turning me off the iconic one is the weight of it it has a lot of weight so when you're bouncing it on your face you do get a lot of kind of pressure on your face I don't know if that's the right word not pressure but as you're bouncing it you can feel the weight hitting you in your face if you know what I mean whereas the makeup revolution one is not as weighty and it doesn't put any like weight on your face especially around the eye area it just swipes over it really nice whereas this one when I put it on my eye it feels super heavy okay so both sides are applied let me give you my final thoughts Okay, so overall, I prefer the Makeup Revolution side just because of the weight. It doesn't feel uncomfortable to use. It's not too heavy in your hands. I wish you guys could feel the difference, but it does have a lot of weight to it. It's like this whole section down here has like a weight in it, whereas this one is all like plastic and lightweight. It feels really good buffing it on your face. It's just, it feels nicer. Um, plus it is cheaper. I mean, £33 for a little brush like this is very, very expensive. Whereas the Makeup Revolution one is £9.99. In my opinion, they kind of have the same amount of bristles in the brush. They work exactly the same. So I would say go for the Makeup Revolution one if you wanted a handheld uh, buffer brush. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to to my youtube channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye